everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to my channel, A Colorful Creations. If it's your first time here, I post a video every Sunday and Thursday morning. Don't want to miss it. So today I'm pouring on a vase. I got this vase from Dollarama, three bucks. I didn't do, I don't do much to um, prep it. I just wash it, make sure it's clean. And the hot water from washing it will help get the sticker off the bottom because I don't really put that on there and it sticks so bad. So anyway, just make sure it's clean. That's all you need to do. So um, I'm gonna just put the camera down so you can see here. I have a spinner just so that I can turn it as I'm pouring so I can see all the sides evenly. And I have this uh, art panel. Again, Dollar, Dollarama, four bucks. <laughs> Primed in black gesso. I did a video on priming and gesso. If you want to watch that, I'll put that, that in the description. These fit perfectly on here, by the way. So like if I was doing something where I wanted to spin it, it's, it's amazing because it doesn't, I don't have to worry about it flying off because it fits perfect. This is an 11 inch spinner. Anyway, it's not really necessary for the vase, but um, like I said, like I could turn it and so I can see all sides. So to do a vase, you need to elevate it. Um, put this, okay, so you need to elevate it to let the paint run off the bottom. And I don't have any cups skinny enough to hold this. So I had to get creative and I put together two bottles of paint, taped them together. So let's sit that here and then put the vase on top and then I can pour over it. And then whatever runs off on the, to the panel, I'll later move the, the vase and tilt that or blow it out with a hairdryer or something to make a, a nice matching um, painting to go with it. So I am using three colors for this one. I have black by Montmartre, medium yellow by Montmartre, and I have this neon pink from Artist Loft. Now, neon colors are a little more transparent. They don't look like it when you first look at it, but they kind of just, they're, they're thinner or something and then you don't see them, they kind of wash out. So I mixed so mix a little bit of white with it to, to kind of hopefully eliminate that from happening. So they're all mixed how I normally mix. They're pretty thick. I have a link to a video I made with on how I mix paint and, all, and my um, recipe and all that, and that will be in the description too. I won't bore you with it right now. I do have them all pre-mixed and in these squeeze bottles, so they're much easier to work with. I highly recommend it. The big ones are better, I think, because I mix up a lot of paints at a, t at a time. And then you can store it for quite a while, just give it a little shake before you start, and just test it to make sure that it's not clogged. And I'll be using a split cup. This is actually clean, it's just stained. I've used it quite a few times for bases. Um, I like it because it helps you to put the paint evenly on there. You can just layer it all in your cup like a dirty pour or whatever, but then it just, it doesn't end up even and I like to have as even as possible. You kind of want your paints to be equal consistency as close as you can because if you have one that's really runny, it's going to run out really fast and be gone. It'll just wash right off and then the other ones will take over. So you'll end up with your vase looking the most like the, um, the thickest one. So just try to keep them as even as possible. All right, so I am going to pour these into these um, slots. I usually use this whole thing for a vase this size. This holds 16 ounces, and it's like there, there's gonna be a lot of runoff because it's any dry, like you'll see, it'll kind of stick in spots and you gotta keep pouring it to get it to kind of keep flowing. And then obviously a lot ends up on this. So we're gonna fill this whole thing up, three colors, so I'm gonna do three of each. I'm just going to reinforce this a little better. Okay, that should be a little more sturdy. You stay.
Okay. It slowed down quite a bit. It will keep running for a while, but not much more. So now I'm gonna move this out of the way and let it sit and dry and cure for a few weeks and then we'll put resin on it. So for now, I'm just gonna move it and then... I think there's enough paint here that I can just tilt it without worrying about adding more paint to stretch it. I could spin it too. Let's spin it. I think that sounds much more fun. Oh my God. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. The sides aren't quite covered, so I'm just gonna add a little here and then give it another spin. One more spin and that'll go down over the sides. All right, now I'm just gonna take a, a popsicle stick and a scrape underneath the edges to get the excess off. And same thing, this will sit for a few weeks and then I'll put resin on that and then it'll be a matching set. So we'll be back then. All right, so here we are finished. It's dry, there's resin. I have a tutorial on, on doing the resin that I'll put a link in the description if you wanna watch it. I'll show you this outside because it's so much nicer in the sun. And here's the panel. I didn't put anything on this one actually, just resin on the base, but no, nothing on this yet. Here we are in the sun. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So this piece has been sold already, but if you are looking for something similar or different colors or anything like that, I do a lot of commission work. So just send me an email. I'll leave it in the description for you. And just let me know what you think in general of this. Let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions or comments or anything like that, let me know. I will get back to you. Oh.